Hi, Dave Weiss here again for the Glue Bomb Show. Today I want to talk to you about some of my favorite kits. I first built these kits when I was a little kid, and years later they were re-released, and I got them again and built them. These were our amazing kits by a fantastic artist named Bill Campbell. They call them the Weirdos. Oh, I love building Weirdos when I was a kid. I love them even more now. I want to show you just a few that I have here. I actually have the whole collection of them. As a matter of fact, in some future episodes, I'm going to show the building because I have one left that I want to build again, and so uh, I'm really excited about it. Now, I've heard rumors that these are now available in some Dollar Tree stores. I have checked every Dollar Tree store around me. I have yet to find one, but if you can pick these kits up for a dollar, man, they are just amazing. They're amazing even for a much higher price, which is what I ended up paying for quite a few of them anyway. But let's have a look at some of them. First of all, I have Freddy Flameout. Freddy Flameout is uh, a pilot, and he's a, a jet pilot, a fighter pilot. And, and look at that. The, pilot, the, the plane is being held up by balloons. He's got a little blowtorch out the back. That's what's pushing him. I have no idea why. It looks like the... Uh, the plane itself looks a little tired, but man, what a cool kit. These are fun to build. They really are. They, they're not a lot of pieces. They're not terribly difficult. And I, I built these before I realized things that like uh, body putty. So you do see a few cracks, but man, what a fun build. Um, one of the things that I like to do with these, if you're, if you're working on one, is I generally paint the inside of these black. And the reason for that is a couple. Number one, there's no real mouthpiece in here. So you're going to see basically the back of the inside of the head. So if you haven't painted it, uh, that's going to look rough when you look through and you see plain white plastic. But the other thing is this. I feel like these are built out of fairly thin plastic. And I've actually seen in the beginning when I was trying to work on them that the light would actually shine through them. And you would actually see like brush marks and stuff if the light was shining through them. So I've started that I just paint the whole thing inside black. Uh, even, oh, I didn't do it on the base there. Sorry, I thought I did. But I built these a while ago. But anyway, what a fun kit to build. Uh, and, and just cool. And, and I have a whole shelf full of them over here in my office. I'm in my office today and I just took a little lunch break to do a couple of these real quick. Um, another one that I have is Daddy. Now... I, I, I'm not a huge fan of the idea because, look, Daddy is driving a coffin. And uh, being a daddy is, is one of the great things in my life. So I don't really like that they have him driving a coffin. <laughs> and yet, it's a cool-looking kit. I mean, look at this guy, right? This is, this is uh, he's got his briefcase flying behind him. He's in a, a full-on burnout. He's got his... His wheelie up in the air, and, and even the signs telling where to go. There is just some really cool stuff in this kit. A lot of really cool details. One of the things you might notice on these is I do that kind of antiquing technique where after I paint them the regular colors, I will cover it with a thin coat of black, and then I will brush it off and wipe it off until it only remains in the cracks. I think that gives us an idea of the, the cartoony style that these were created in, and I just love how they turned out. Now, I'll show you one more kit. Uh, this is a character called Wade A. Minute, which stands for Wait a Minute. He's actually the starter of the drag races, and uh, I, I created mine a little bit differently. Usually I go box stock on these, and I did on, on Freddy and on Daddy and on all the others, but when it came to Wade A. Minute, I decided to do it a little differently, and uh, I added some marabou feathers for the hair and uh, just changed up his colors. The other thing that I did was he's usually holding a big checkered flag. Well, I kind of made it that he holds a brush so that, oh, it's in this hand, I'm sorry. And uh, it's kind of hard to do. But you get the idea. He's, he's holding the brush, and uh, yeah, it's, it's a cool-looking little kit. But one of the really cool things about this is it's a small kit, small amount of pieces. So the folks at Hawk, the manufacturer, gave us two. 
There's two full kits in the box, and that's awesome. They also do that with their character Sling Rave Curvette, which is a, a female, a, kind of a girl drag racing fan kind of thing. And, and I'm not as big on that one, but I do have two of those as well. Uh, they also pack that in a case of two. But since I had a second one, I thought, why not do a little self-portrait? So my second one is a self-portrait. Now, I had an idea for a third one, but I've had a hard time finding one of these guys again. I'm really hoping that soon we get our uh, get them into our local Dollar Tree. But I thought if you painted this just right, this could actually make a really cool. Uh, you know, remember Eddie from Iron Maiden? I think you could make a really cool character out of that using one of these. So uh, somewhere in the future, if I get one, I might try it just to see if I could pull it off. These things are a blast. They are a lot of fun. If you can find one, I mean, they are available online. Sometimes you can find them. Uh, pick one up. They are really fun. Again, if you notice, I painted the inside of this one as well. I like to paint the inside of them, like I said, so the, the light doesn't shine through too much. But, man, these are cool. They are a lot of fun. I, there's probably 10 or 15 of them. There's cars. There's, uh, there's some sports figures. There's a whole bunch of stuff. Bill Campbell was an awesome artist. He created some really fun stuff. And I hope you find one of these. And I hope you enjoy it because it's a lot of fun. Take care.